a plug that uses Wi-Fi to control household appliances. A device that communicates via Bluetooth when a plant needs to be watered. And a toothbrush that keeps track of your brushing habits. Gadgets like these are becoming ever more popular. Amir Tamanai and Shu on Kwok are gadget testers. They review the latest technological inventions on their website gadgetmagazine.de. Of course, it's still a lot of fun unpacking things and seeing what's inside. It's always exciting to see what people have invented. Right now, they're testing the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Intelligent wristwatches are quite a hit among consumers at the moment. The technology isn't fully developed yet, but I'd give the industry another year or two and then I think we'll have really great smartwatches and we'll end up keeping our mobile phones in our bags. The two German tech journalists set up their blog six years ago. At the beginning, it was all about smartphones. Now, they test a new invention every week. In vogue at the moment are wearable gadgets. The most popular example is Google Glass. The mini computer seems to be able to do anything. A little more offbeat, the smart bra. It can only be unclasped when the wearer's in love. An integrated heart rate monitor sends the data to her smartphone. Another innovation, a fork that measures how many calories you're consuming. The aim of such gadgets is to simplify daily life. Gadgets are a way to make your life easier. They can be a huge help, but of course you need to decide what you need. Smartphones remain the best-selling gadgets. Many people can no longer imagine their lives without one. Mobile internet is now an essential part of most gadgets' operating systems. Norbert Boltz is a media expert. He researches the impact of connectivity on people's lives. In the past, we had an instrumental relationship with technology. Technology essentially referred to tools, which were returned to the toolbox at the end of the day. Today, our lives are completely interwoven with technology. It's now moving into our bodies and entering our subconscious. These days, we're experiencing a symbiosis of humans and machines. Back to the gadget testers. They're impressed with the water measurement device. Even if it's a bit late for this plant but they do caution against relying too much on gadgets. Well, sure, some gadgets can be addictive. They can trigger a dependency that may not have been there before, like a calorie counter, for instance. Of course, when it comes to technological devices and achievements, you need to apply common sense. No gadget can replace human thinking. But some gadgets can be extremely useful, like this wristwatch which warns you when you're about to be sunburnt or this device which tracks your daily water consumption. But do we really need a headband which tells us what music to listen to based on our brainwaves? Shift says whatever floats your boat, 